Hey everyone, and welcome to my Linux Mint 9 Fluxbox RC series. Now, in my first teaser video, I was just telling you about Fluxbox um, and saying that I was going to be making a series. Now that I've downloaded it, I'm going to be beginning some actual stuff. As in, this video is basically the installation of the operating system. Now we're going to be doing this in VirtualBox, which is what I use to do everything, because, uh, well, VirtualBox has a number of advantages. Uh, first of all, you don't need to risk damaging your actual computer by using VirtualBox because it is not an actual operating system or being installed in your computer. It's just being installed in VirtualBox. So there's nothing that can go wrong. If something happens in here, click escape, and it's gone, and you still have your all your files and everything intact, which is nice. Now I've used this before to do Nimblix uh, and uh, my Linux Mint 9 LXDC tests, uh, as well as some uh, Windows Media Center videos. But now I'm going to be doing another Linux video, which is what I'm doing now. So I'm going to go new, next, name. Linux Mint 9 RC Linux and other Linux next. Let's give it one gig of RAM next. We will create a new hard disk for this as always, a dynamically expanding hard disk and we'll make it We'll give it two gigs. Shouldn't be that big. Finish. So we have our Fluxbox RC here, and let's power it up. Now, new in VirtualBox is the first run wizard. Now, beforehand, what we did, we had to quickly go to the our devices list and mount the CD. If you didn't do it quick enough, you'd have to restart and do it all over again. But now, they make it simple by giving you an option to load up your CD image, ISO, beforehand. So we'll go to next. We're going to do an image file and add one. My downloads folder will find the uh, Fluxbox RC i386. We'll open that, select it, and run it. Here we go, and we are loading for the first time. Okay. Automatic boot in 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Okay, as you can see, the ISO is working and we're loading smoothly. Uh, the, the the ISO is about 600 megabytes, by the way. Uh, it took about an hour to download on my connection. Maybe faster or slower, depending on what connection you have. Here we are, the first run. My internet's down again. I've been trying to upload this one video for like five hours. My internet keeps going on and off and on and off. Here we go. Successful. And as you can see, we have loaded it now. Well, we're getting there, but already you can see how Fluxbox has a sleek new interface. On the bottom, we have this sort of semi-transparent um, bar, nice, nice and clean there. Very simplistic. Uh, we have the default uh, green mint theme. 
But uh, Fluxbox is essentially a very stripped down, basic version. And uh, really, this is it. Uh, we're essentially all loaded. Um, so, what I'm going to be doing now is I'm going to fix my internet connection because I assume it's giving me some problems. Stop this video and uh, install. And then, in the next video, I'm going to be actually showing you the finished product of the install and giving you a sort of a semi-overview slash review. So, that's all for this. And, have a great day.